Hi there, it's Sam from poodlestock.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. It's an it's a remake of an old project of mine. It's a no glue fold flat little clutch bag gift box. And it's lovely and it folds up like that. So you would put your gift or your goodies or treats in there and then it wraps around like that and then you seal it up with ribbon. And I did a double layer of ribbon which is now not double layered anymore but that's okay we're going to put it over there so um very simple to make you need a piece of cardstock that is 8 by 11 inches 20 by 28 and a half centimeters this one was pretty peacock because i used the paper called forever love couldn't remember what it was called I'm using a different paper and this is the celebration um paper what is oh i've just dropped my notes on the floor what's this paper called um, most adored so this is the free celebration paper so grab it while you can on till the 29th of February okay so on the long side there we go just making sure you can see on the long side score it at um, three four seven and eight inches which in metric is seven and a half ten 17 and a half and 20 and then make a mark on this same long side at 10 inches which is 20 25 centimeters then turn the paper over and mark again at 10 inches so you've got the same little mark either side okay turn it so those those marks are closest to the top um, and score on the short side at one inch and seven inches which is two and a half centimeters and 17 and a half centimeters and then make a mark at the four inch um 10 centimeter mark so you've got a mark there and there on either side and one in the middle okay uh, shove that on the floor then we're going to take these marks and score a line from one to the other And then the other one as well. I can see it. Okay, so hopefully, there you go. You can see the score lines like that and that. And that's basically for this part here. Right, let's get this burnished. So this is Berry Burst. So this is a colour. This was an old in colour and then returned to us. Mm, is it May last year? I know it was last year, I just don't remember when the catalogue went live because we've got uh, a change of timings of catalogues now. Okay, so that's all my straight lines done and I'm just going to gently bend and burnish those diagonal lines. Okay. So those are done and then just while I've got everything here my piece of um, paper is five and three quarters by two and three quarters so seven by fourteen and a half centimeters and whoopsie turn it so it's the wrong way up and hold it in position and then get a pen or a pencil and just mark that same sort of border and a centre point. And grab your trimmer and then cut those off. So I'm just going into the central channel here to cut that bit away. Oops. And this one as well. And that should now fit nicely over the top with the same border okay that's just the simplest way to do it without getting into tiny little diddy measurements right okay so this is very simple we've got rectangles and we've got little squares cut the little squares away completely gone got rid off <laughs> <laughs> we just don't need them so 
So all four of those gone. Those four gone. And then just give this a bit of a bend where you folded it over because we've added in just one little extra score line but just so that this closes okay get your beautiful designer series paper that cost you nothing because you were sensible and you bought it during sale or you earned it during celebration and stick it on the front and line it up considerably better than i am Okay, and then you simply fold it up and close it round. So I find that this middle one is best on the inside. Those on the outside. So that it wraps up just like that. Fantastic, gorgeous. I don't have any berry burst ribbon. I don't know if we have berry burst ribbon, but I found this lovely... Um, um, I want to call it lemon lolly it's not at all it's bubble bath bubble bath ribbon so i've gone around a couple of times and i'm going to put a bit of a flouncy bow on this one a bigger bow i should say well i would if i could get hold of the blooming stuff <laughs> okay i want longer tails for this one and that, when you position it all up, I can get hold of it. There we go. I want to get the crisscross going. There it is. That, I think, is a rather lovely gift box and so simple and easy to store so i would do my best to get this ribbon back on but you know we all know that's never going to happen so i will just mock it up for now oh look i have got it on <gasps> yay oh go me <laughs> upside down but it's on so anyway what do you think do you like it i hope you do very simple very easy to make gorgeous take care everybody bye